So you may be wondering what this is. It's basically Banjo Kazooie's successor. Um, if the music itself didn't give it away there. Uh, this is the toy box they gave away to like Kickstarter backers. And I'm sure you can pretty much hear it is very, very like Banjo Kazooie. It's also extremely cute. Like. The noises they make are wonderful. I've had a very quick play with this, and I thought I'd show you, I don't know, like five, ten minutes of what uh, what to expect in this little toy box. Hello. This guy seems a bit angry. He's like tutorial bot, I think. He is inept. Yeah. Look at this, though. Th this always makes you laugh. Like, they did this in banjo as well, and when you move the menus, they make noises. I'm very easy to please, but that's, that sort of thing really makes me like giggle a bit. Anyway, so after this fine chap tells us uh, what we can do and how we sort of work and what we can do to push the buttons, I'll skip this a little bit actually. It's basically just telling us what to do. You switch, open doors. Ta da! So, he's showing us how we can do butt stomps. The actual controls are. Uh, I wouldn't say the controls, but the, perhaps the moves are similar to Banjo Kazooie. This is like the the quick quick trot, trop, or whatever it was called in Banjo Kazooie. You can also still crouch and do a double, like a big jump. When you're in the air, you can still fly, like you could with Kazooie. Uh, and Banjo replacement uh, Yuka here basically can still attack and stuff, which is oh, very nice. Anyway, we're gonna butt stomp the switch. And if by magic everything appears, sort of. He seems upset that it didn't go quite right. Anyway, don't mind him. We're gonna go exploring. So this is the toy box that we've been given, which is there's quite a lot here actually. Uh, and I think there's a hundred of these uh, little things to collect, as per usual. As is the Banjo Kazooie way. What's a pagey? I don't know. I guess a pagey gets or something. They've done it like this, so there's no spoilers for the main game. So it's not going to look like this in the main game, but uh, I don't need impressive hacking skills to break that lock. I can just beat it up. I think that's the uh, the goal. I'm going to give it a whack with the X. There we go. Get us two more. Uh, they're not musical notes this time around. They're, they're quills, which is fine. Anyway. <laughs> it's the noises are getting me. It's so cute. Whee. It... I'm sure lots of people will show you the full thing, I'm probably not going to do that, but what I am going to do is sort of maybe alleviate any fears. It controls like you would imagine it should do for a Banjo-Kazooie game. Uh, the jumping feels the right sort of level of floatiness, the the movement and sort of smoothness of the movement feels right as well. Anyone who's played Banjo-Kazooie will feel right at home here. Like, I didn't need to sort of muck around with the controls too much, it just worked for me, you know. Uh, sent that. Let's have a quick look down here. I haven't actually checked under here yet. Might, might find something uh, exciting, perhaps. I love the little bat. I think that's uh, Laylee. Very, very cute. Hello, what have we got here? Oh, we got like an indoors area. They've asked for some feedback and stuff as well, which is quite nice. So, you can actually go to the forums and say what you liked and what you didn't like about it. I don't normally do videos of these sort of in-progress things as much, but uh, this is a bit of a special case. Mainly because I have a very large soft spot for Banjo Kazooie. And the fact this not only controls, but also sounds like Banjo Kazooie. I mean, listen to that music. I mean, this could. could if you replace the two characters, I wouldn't have been too surprised if this was just Banjo Kazooie. Hello, look at this. Flying platforms. Where's this go? It's been such a long time since I've played a 3D platformer like this. It's. Really, really quite nice to play, actually. Oh. I was only going to do a few minutes of this, but I got a sneaky suspicion I might just end up keep playing, because this is what happens. So this, like, slide goes down this way. Where's it go? Let's have a look. Whee! Oh, nice. So we got 22. Now, I know there's some over here as well, so let's roll around, which... Uh, that friggin' noise just keeps making me giggle. Okay, what's over here? Nope. Let's just bounce up here. Ooh, there's a, another bot man here. It's fine, I'll talk to him later. Okay, let's go this way. There's, a, there's like a little sort of area over here. I mean, oh shit! Whoops. Oh, I just go back to the start. That's not so bad. <laughs> this is so cute. 
Alright. I wonder if they'll be separate. I wonder if we can actually use make um, Yuka fly, like, properly, like you could with Kazooie. I wonder if that'd be too on the nose, perhaps. This is all like a cybernetic eagle holding the trigger button and pushing A. Of course, we can do a little hover flap as well. So we wait for this to go back up. The model's really detailed as well. It's just incredibly nice. They're very smooth. The game runs well, um, but then again, it's not exactly the most complicated looking area in the world, so I would expect it to. Alright, let's shove this box out of the way. So we get a nice little top-down view here now. And then we can just quickly jump into a ball. Oh, the music just... It's nice. This is what I kind of wanted Nuts and Bolts to be. And while I don't really have a problem with Nuts and Bolts, like, unlike, uh, what's his name, John Tron, who ended up, like, hacking it to pieces, I don't think there's anything too evil about it, but I'll agree with him on one point, that it wasn't the game I was hoping or expecting. So... So this is quite nice. This guy over here just asks, tells us, Did you like the cameras? If you can, give us feedback, which is fine. Good little feedback gathering tool, this little uh, toy box as well, I think. Which is nice for something like a Kickstarter, because you can really give the developers honest, <laughs> solid feedback. You've played, you played not a finished product, but you've played like a test product of what you're going to be getting. <laughs> and so let them know what you think. This is so cute! This is awesome! Come on! Come on, you springtail bastard! Move! Move! Alright, what's this guy over here got to say? Alright. This is good news, users. I exterminate all the other NPCs in this simulation. Now you can roam free. Uh, thanks, man. I think he's like a sort of murder bot, but uh, a, bit, a bit sinister. Right. Since falling puts us right back to the start, let's be careful. Oh, oh this is so good! It's weird, because obviously it looks so basic, but it's uh, really fun. Right, do we have a shadow to land on? Oh, yeah, we do. Camera control is a little bit difficult here. There we go. That's not so bad. Uh, there we go. Ooh, that's actually that handled itself pretty nice. Now we can, should be able to just jump over here. Oh god, there's some sort of evil creature. No, go away with you. Oh, this is like a little battle arena, so you can test the fighting stuff. Nice, nice. Bleh, bleh. Oh god, there's one with a hat. Kill it. I think he's harder because he's got a hat. Oh god. Ow! Okay, he's blocking. Nice. Yay! Wait. Did I earn anything for my trouble or just a lovely sound? Mm, let's get out of here then. I don't work for sound, I work for quills. Maybe there's a quill up there? Mm, let's have a look. I'm gonna miss Banjo and Kazooie as characters, but I gotta be honest, these two are pretty great too. Very expressive, lots of funny noises. Not quite as funny as this though. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I can do that all day. Right, I'm very simple. Right, let's go on the other side now, shall we? So we gotta. Oh, they come back. Oh, so we can do more, I guess. There we go. So let's let's fight our way back. Oh god, we may have made a grievous error in judgment. No, I can probably make it from here. Again, if we do this too long, Yuka gets. No, sorry, Laylee. Laylee is the bat. Laylee gets tired, and then. Uh... Oh, sorry, phone. Sorry about that. Right, where were we? Uh, over here. Okay, let's see. We gotta make a sort of running dash and then top. Oh, nice. I love it. Okay, we got a treasure chest up here. Now, I'm guessing these hills are to show us to use the roll? Especially these ones. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Because if you try and do it normally, I bet you'd slide down. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like Banjo Kazooie. Wait. Shenanigans. No. Oh, God. Okay, okay. So if we do this, spring up, and then hover over, there we go. Mad skills. Nice. I've been wanting a game like this for years. God, I used to play Banjo Kazooie so often. I, I mean, I got it when I, oh, how was I? 10? 11? It must have been? Something like that. And I just played it non-stop. I got all the secrets. The stupid ice key crap used to wind me up. The gaming magazines here in the UK used to talk about that a lot. I don't know if it was the same in the US. They'd sort of all speculate on the ice key and what it was going to be like and what it did. And then what the, and then how the sequels would... Uh oh Oh, nice. So let's jump. Nope. Uh, there we go. And how the sequels would suddenly use it and there was going to be cartridge swapping. Loads of... Oh, God. Okay, let's go back here. We have to do some one smooth movement then. So, jump. <laughs> that noise. Okay, so I need to. Oh no, no! I failed. Okay. 
Right, so I'm gonna have to do this. Jump. Oh! Oh god! Oh dear! Okay, disaster. Right, plan B. Okay, it's, it's going it's going poorly, I will be honest, but it's fine. I'm just, let's do it in one go. Let's, let's use analog control and do this with skills. I think because you got to stop every so often because the momentum on this is quite a lot. Right, okay, we're back up here now, so let's... Let's... Oh, okay, that, that clearly didn't work. Boing. All right. And jump! No! Why? Ah! Oh, keep... That is a really hard corner. <sighs> right, if there's one th feedback I would give is that the camera needs to go out a smidge when you're doing things like that. Because this is as far as it goes out currently. And for tasks like this, it can be a little bit tricky. Oh! Damn. Okay. There we go. I got it. I got it. Right. What was that? Like 80th time the charm? Right. What else we got up here? So, we got a flying platform. Which leads to a purple thing. I don't know what the purple thing does. Does it send us up in the sky? No, it's just it's just a ball. Okay, let's move it down here. Down down the hole, awkward shaped ball. Okay. So I'm guessing we gotta leave this ball down here somewhere. What a cool idea though. Like the idea of just not having a unique area with all the sort of sort of movement skills and abilities you'll be using in this first starting area of the game and showing you how it's all going to work. Really cool. Right. Can we get this ball up this hill? Or is that just not going to happen? What do we need to do this ball? Right, so it drops down here. And I guess unlock something. Okay, that's fine. So how are we going to get it up here exactly? Like, move it here. I'm guessing we just shove it? There we go. It's again... We shove it against this thing. Okay, there we go. Come on, up you get. There we go. Now carefully does it. Sorry, I really was only going to do five minutes of this, but this game is incredibly addicting, so you have to just put up with me talking nonsense while walking around. Hooray! So we got 49. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright. Well, that's good. There's like some windy area over here. There was loads of balls and stuff this way, so let's have a look. Oh, there's, there's going to be some down here too, isn't there? Bound to be. Yeah, sure enough. Now if I push the button, do I swim faster? Is that how it works? This is almost there, users. 50 coils accumulated. Nice. Thank you, killer robot man. Yeah, we can swim quite fast this, okay. Right, any secrets down here? No, let's keep going. It is very pretty, even though the areas are very basic. It's such a sharp, vibrant look to it. Very smooth too, hopefully it comes out in the video like that. Okay. Was that it? I think that might have been. We don't seem to have an air gauge yet, so I'm going to make the most of it. Oh no, one more. There's no health bar or air gauge, so let's make the most of that. Oh, look how cute they are. Right. Come on, Yuka. Get to the surface. <gasps> nice, you. Green nutter. Okay, so. We got some sort of assault course thing here. I guess don't hit the red. Red looks a bit dodge. Red equals bad? I don't know. Something like that. Let's bounce the top of this first and see what we're dealing with here. Oh no, look! Back there! I've missed some I've missed some bits. I guess we have to climb on top of that structure. Okay. That's fine. I can go back there. Boing. Okay, there's something really addictive about collectathons. Now, I don't know. I normally don't have patience for collectathons. But this type of game, I was always okay with. Which, I know it sounds a bit stupid, but I never had a problem with this t this type of collectathon, for whatever reason. The whole, like, get a hundred notes in the stage. I guess because it was so well designed, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Let's assume we... Okay, so... That doesn't work. Okay, because it's the blue stuff. Right? Let's go to the other side and have a look. Is there anything down here, or is it just, uh... Okay, let's have a look. Now, if I hit... Are these jump pads, maybe? So if I land on them... Nope! That's bad. So how do I get up here without scooting down? Maybe I gotta slide down from somewhere else. Okay. And now I'm kind of stuck over here. This is bad. Let's go this way. Boing. 
Did I miss anything? I always miss things. I'm world's most useless man when it comes to trying to not miss things. Now, there was a see-through panel around here somewhere. Let's try it this way. Damn it! Let's try this way. Boing. So if I go round and jump back in like this... There we go. Aha! Here we go. Okay, so where's this go? Ooh, hello. Right. I'm somewhere else. At the top, maybe? Yeah, I must be up here, above the big slope. Who's this guy? Oh! Freeing us ghost writers. What fun. Nice. Uh oh. Well, okay, we got one. Those are the new Jinjos, then, I take it. That's fine with me. I never liked the Jinjos. I always thought they were right bastards. You know, just hiding around, making annoying noises. Going like, thank you, or Jinjo, or whatever it was they were making. It just angered me greatly. I didn't have time for small creatures that yelled at things at me. I just, I wanted to explore, just not rescue idiots, you know? Alright, so we got some boxes going on. So if we push this over here, maybe? Oh, well, we push it over. Excellent. Oh, this old chestnut. It's fine. I'm well prepared. Years of platforming prepared me for uh, such such trials and tribulations. Okay. Nice. What say you, sir? We made it to the top of the island. Now you can view all the pleasing geometrical shapes and grids. Enjoy it before the final game's inferior, highly detailed, organic art arrives. Thanks, man. Even though it's not rare anymore, I mean, like, obviously, it's their, their sense of humour has remained, which is lovely. Right, let's bounce over this way. Go around here. Oh, the, the thought of just hunting down secrets and, like, hidden places again really pleases me. Like, tricky platforming to get you to top of islands and things. User is too high. Frame rate dip detected. Terminate artist. Right. Actually, runs pretty steady. I mean, I'd expect it to, but hey. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the recording going. I'm sorry if I bore the tears of anybody while I'm not saying anything too interesting, but... Right, let's slide our way down. And try not to hit any red things on the way. Uh-oh. Let's go this way. Ooh. Ooh, nice. No! I probably wanted to hit that. Okay, that's not good. I'll have to go back at the top then. I guess if I hit that, I open up that switch down there, which allows me to get the, the quills. Okay, I have a plan. Luckily, it's not too far up to the top. So it was around here, wasn't it? Yep. Up you go, and we're going to sneak around the side again. And back up to the top. It's nice to teleport you up, so of course, I haven't got really waste much time. Look how happy they are. They're thrilled to be up here. It's like, they, they don't care they're going to get horribly mauled when I stuff this up. They're, they're all game. It's ni nice to see they're so happy. Okay. Do I have to go all the way up here again, or can I just... Yeah, I do. So i got to climb up here. Okay. Right, let's not stuff this up this time. So, bounce up. Bounce up. Boing. Boing. Oh, what's this over here? Did I... Nothing. Okay. Boing. Oh, okay. Right, this time we want to be at an angle. So... Oh, you can actually sl slow yourself and speed yourself up with the button. I think. Okay, right, so we're going to go this way then. Slow ourselves down. Move around here. And we wanted to be at on the side here so we don't slide straight down. Good. Right. What do I unlock for my trouble? Let me guess, it's timed? I would expect nothing less. Hooray! I don't know what we unlock, but let's do it. Let's sneak around the side. Oh, God. I don't think I've got the right angle for this. No! No! Oh! Hey! <laughs> I blatantly cheated. It's fine. Okay, made it. Nice. What are we getting here then? Oh, camera's not having any of it. 
uh, different floor textures? Okay. Well, that's weird. I'm guessing there's like a... Maybe there's a secret in this room. I don't think this room would be here just because. Let's put it that way. Anyway, we've unlocked it now, so we might be able to come back to this later. Okay, we've got a few quills still to go. So let's have a look around. Where are we going? We want to go back this way so we can go across this huge structure up here. I'm guessing we can just climb up from the thing in front of us? It looks climbable. Okay, this looks, yeah, this looks fine. Okay, so we can make it all the way up here. Boing. Boing. Can I climb it from here? Yeah, there we go. Nice. What are there any flying sections? Like, I, I do wonder if we can use feathers to fly in this. Okay, so that's 78. Okay, oh, there's some up there. Okay, did I not make it up there last time? I guess not. Okay, can we make it over here? Oh, just about. Okay. Yeah, we're getting close to collecting them all. That's nice. I, I bet we won't get anything particularly crazy, but hey, I am deeply curious. This camera definitely needs a bit of work. Obviously the game's not finished yet, but if I am going to leave feedback, which I might do honestly, I think the camera controls really could do with a bit of a go. The N64 had a really interesting camera setup, and it did for a lot of games where it had obviously those C buttons. Oh, is there something back there? Oh, shit. Alright, well, stuff that now, didn't I? Can I get out over here by going on this thing? Yeah. Nice. No, I can't. Okay, let's swim out of here then. Which way was the way out? Uh, can I not swim out here? I could have sworn I got in here by swimming. Mm, maybe not. Alright, fine, let's climb up now. No, I did. It must be it must be an exit down here somewhere. There we go, straight down. Sure enough. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the N64 had this really interesting setup because it had the C buttons. A lot of games decided to use those for dedicated camera control, kind of like your right stick now. But you could, because of a buttons rather than an actual stick, you, they tend to let you have a quite a sort of zoom out function with the down C a lot of the time, which I really, really liked, and I hope they kind of keep that. Right. Now how do we get up here? Aha! Outside the boundaries. Nice. Okay. Ooh, where now though? Ah, this way. Yeah, this is great! Look at this! Okay, we finally got some treasure chests. Nice! So that's another two. So I've got 85, so there's 15 remaining. This is where I'm, I'm guaranteed to miss like one somewhere stupid. I promise. That's pretty much how I always do things. Okay, so now we need to head all the way back to the other side. This way. <laughs> that got that noise. Right, and then we head to that windy area, which should be the last of everything. Oh no, there's a there's one up there. In fact, let's see if we can get hold of that, shall we? Boing. So that means we probably need to boing off the chest. I don't know what we're gonna call that yet. I mean, most of the moves have like a special name. But can I do it off here? Yeah, there we go. One in particular. I don't see any others floating around right now, which is good. So that probably means I haven't missed too many. Now this area is all windy, so I mean, if we stay above it, that might help. There's a treasure chest over here, which is good. 88, so we need 12 more. Now hopefully 12 come from here somewhere. Okay, we have to go this way? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. I've made a bad decision. Okay. There we go. Nice. That was easy. Oh. Okay. This is where I'm probably going to be finding I'm missing a couple, but never mind. So we need four more. Don't, don't let me down, game. 
Let's see what I unlocked for my trouble. Is this the last four? Nice! Hey, how about that? I'm not entirely useless. I'm, I'm as shocked as you are. Ah! Oh, that's just mean! Well done, user! You collected Quills Quota 100, a binary classic. Come find me to collect your page. Okay, that's right at the back of the start, I think. Oh, uh, thanks, camera. Anytime you, anytime you want to sort yourself out, I'll be grand. There we go. There was, however, another switch somewhere there. And I'm a suspicious person, and I want to know what that is. So, let's boing our way over and find out. It might lead to nothing. It might lead to uh, untold treasures, or in a sort of alpha demo, probably not a lot really, but. Let's have a look anyway. Doink! Oh, cool. It's it's something. Let's find out. Okay, where's this go then? Oh! What is this? Hello? Did you know robots really enjoy particle effects? Oh, is this like a show off of the particle effects of the engine? Oh, that's really cute. These these are nice. So we got flame, we got sort of watery fountain, electricity, fire, bubbly effects, some sort of movement effect. I can't pop the bubble though, this makes me a bit sad. That's quite cute. Okay. Let's go back and claim our page and then I'll, I'll end the video and stop wobbling on. Apologies. Right. Let's zoom at like sonic speed. Can I go this way? Does the breeze make you feel alive? I'm not sure I feel about security, but I feel he's a bit snarky for my liking. The mean man. Alright, here we go. All the way back to the start. Let's do it. I could just jump off the edge and have the same effect, but where's the fun in that? Nice. This has been a really fun little demo. I'm I'm really glad. I mean, I was gonna I back the game anyway because. Well, I think my ramblings about how much I like Banjo Kazooie probably sums that up, but it's always nice to get something extra early. Right. Yay! <laughs> Greetings. Hello. A secret. Oh, what do you have for me? A button. Okay, where's this button? What was that? Okay, I've got to find it, have I? Will you show me again? Take it, no. Oh, no. Okay, so there's been a... A switch has been opened somewhere. Oh, God. Should have paid more attention to where that was. Is it along here? It was somewhere yellow, right? I'm gonna have a bit of a nosy for it. <laughs> you get to hear the squeaking instead for a little bit. It, was, it wasn't orange. I think it was like a sort of duller yellow colour, maybe? Yes, it wasn't there. Maybe over there? Let's have a look this way. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! What a freaking disaster. So, I found it. It's just down here. It actually didn't that long to find, in fact. But, uh... Figured I'd have a look after I horribly committed suicide. Here we go. No. I don't know. It sounded like something very close by, though. Let's have a look around. Definitely something out here, I think. Ooh. Maybe here. Ooh, it's like a sinister secret. Like, what's up with the skulls, man? This is supposed to be friendly. No, Mr. Bones, I do not want to jump on your wild ride. Hello? Get out of the water. There we go. Hello? Hello? What's, what you got for me? A secret for me? Okay, what have you got? When the real world game releases, look to a pirate ship for a surprise. Ground smash lone rock under a nearby tree to reveal the way. Remember this to find the surprise. Hey, that must be we go for uh, doing all this, uh, this hunting. 
Right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, again, sorry if I just rambled on a bit without much meaning here. I don't, I don't normally do videos like this where I kind of uh, just enjoy what I'm doing. I always enjoy what I'm doing, but uh, to the point where that's the only purpose of the video. But yeah, I think it's been a good laugh. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Penumbra tomorrow, by the way, in case anyone's curious. Anyway, tschüss.